So I'm William Fabian. I'm a gastroenterologist here at Mayo Clinic, and I take care of both children and adults with inflammatory bowel disease, the Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. This is an addition to a series that we've been putting out to help educate children and their parents about these diseases, about Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. The section today is about the immunology of inflammatory bowel disease. I think the reason why it's important to understand something about the immunology of inflammatory bowel disease is so many of our therapies, we're going to have a separate video on, on therapies and up-and-coming therapies in inflammatory bowel disease, but so many of our therapies are immunoactive, meaning that they're designed to impact in one way or fashion the immune system. So I think it's important to have this information when you go in to see your provider about what these cells are in order to understand what the potential benefits and risks to the agents are that, that, that you may need to be taking. So the immune system is a collection of, of, of cells that are produced by the bone marrow. Um, and these cells have a single mission, uh, and that mission is to keep us healthy. And they carry out this mission both through the surveillance and destruction of infections, certain bacteria and viruses and other types of infections. And they also carry out this mission through immune surveillance for cancer, actually. So uh, that's the, the two main things that the immune system is trying to do. They have access to nearly every organ and nearly every spot in our body, and they survey those. And they bring back that information from that surveillance to a central um, immune organ for education of the entire immune system about what's going on out in the periphery. So the major components of the immune system that you'll hear about are lymphocytes or T-cells um, and probably also uh, something called macrophages or dendritic cells. So the medications that we use for inflammatory bowel disease may impact one or two of those processes, okay? Um, the, the lymphocytes or the T cells that we talk about in inflammatory bowel disease um, are divided into a couple of groups, but a major group that, that you ought to know about are something called T helper cells. And what these cells do is exactly what the name suggests. They help other arms of the immune system to clear certain infections. And they do that by producing certain proteins. And we call those proteins cytokines. And as I tell children and adults when they're in the room with me about a cytokine, what those really are, they function almost like a text message. So if, if one person were to go to a party and they're having a pretty good time, there's a swimming pool, and so they send a text message to three other friends, and those three, three friends arrive, and they are having a pretty good time too. So they send text messages to another three friends. Well, it doesn't take long to recognize that pretty soon you're going to have the whole block there. That's the way a cytokine works. So the cytokine goes out from that cell and then collects other cells, its friends, to that environment. And what it thinks it's doing is clear an infection or helping heal, a lesion, or helping heal um, inflammation. But instead what it's doing is it's just ramping up this inflammation over and over again. So many of the medications that we use, there'll be another... Um, another short talk on that. Many of the medications we use try to interfere with those text messages um, and many blockers that are available currently on the market and you may have experienced do just that. A uh, second class of medication blocks how these immune cells traffic to the area of inflammation. So they don't really block the connections like the cytokines, but they block how cells move, right? Because the cells have to become activated and then move to that site of inflammation. That's another important thing you need to know about the immune system. And probably the final part that you need to know about the immune system are these cells that I called macrophages or dendritic cells. And really their job is to go out into the environment and they collect as many pieces of information as they can. Then they decorate their cell surface with, that with, with, with all of that information and they go back to a lymph node and then they arm and direct more immune cells to the area of inflammation. Some, and they also put out a lot of these cytokines. Some of the medications that you take now or maybe taking in the future directly impact those types of cells, which is why I think it's important to understand the immune system. And then I think finally it's important to understand that the, the way we use medications to affect the immune system generally impact just small slivers of the immune system. Those slivers that we think are most important to the cause and to the progression of inflammatory bowel disease. So while indeed there may be risks of certain types of infections, generally as we've gotten more advanced in our immunotherapy, we've tried to stay away from generalized suppression of the whole immune system and just try to work on these slivers. 
So if all you need to remember about the immune system is it's there to keep you healthy, it's there to survey against cancers, and it's there to survey against bugs, and that there's a couple of different cell types, and these cell types work by text messages or cytokines, and they have to traffic to the site of the inflammation, if that's what you remember, you're going to have enough information to make educated decisions about really a, a, a myriad of therapies that are coming on that are either currently on the market or coming on the market in the near future. Thanks very much.